What's going on everybody? It is Luke Beller. And today I want to take a look at the Packers upcoming opponents coming to the 2021 season. We know who they will be facing. Of course, the official schedule hasn't been released yet. That'll probably happen sometime in the next, like, I don't know, three to four months. So I'm going to give my prediction on each and every game coming into the 2021 season. But, you know, this could change. I'll probably do another prediction when the actual schedule comes out. But I'll take a look at each team, sort of where I think will happen in each game, and give my final um, Packers record prediction coming into the 2021 season. But if you guys are new to the channel, I put up Packers content like six to seven times a week, news analysis, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe to the channel down below. So the first opponent that we have to take a look at is the Chicago Bears. Obviously, with, you know, our, our the teams in our division, We'll be facing each of them twice this season, one home and one away. So taking a look at the Chicago Bears, they were 8-8 eight and eight in the 2020 season. Not a great year, um, sort of average. Packers definitely did much better than the Bears. Um, the, the Bears were 23rd when it came to scoring offense, led mainly by Mitch Trubisky, but some people seem to think he won't be back in the 2021 season. And I've also seen some rumors sort of flowing around that maybe Carson Wentz could be a quarterback that they may want to pick up, may want to trade from the Philadelphia Eagles. There's been lots of quarterback rumors going around recently. You know, Deshaun Watson, Carson Wentz. Um, I think Adam Schefter predicted, predicted there would be like 18 different quarterback changes in the NFL. So who knows who the Bears quarterback will be in the 2021 season. Maybe it's Nick Foles. Um, I don't know if that's really the best option for them. I think it would probably be better if they do, you know, find another guy, pick him up in free agency or, you know, trade for them. So maybe the Bears get a new quarterback, they could be a lot better. But I still do think the Packers will be much better than the Bears coming into the 2021 season. And my prediction for both of these games is going to be Packers beating the Bears both times, one at home, one away. So then next, moving to another division rival, we got the Detroit Lions who were 5-11 and 11 last season, and now coming into 2021, it seems that they're in a rebuild. So they did just recently make that massive trade where they traded Matthew Stafford away to the Los Angeles Rams for Jared Goff and a few different picks. I would say that Matthew Stafford is much better than Jared Goff. I don't think Jared Goff is like a terrible quarterback. I think he's pretty average. And so I think what the Lions seem to be doing, they're bringing in a new coach. It seems that they're going to be entering a rebuilding phase. They have lots of draft picks. They now have Jared Goff. And I just don't think the Lions are going to be good at all next season. They could be in the running for that number one pick coming into 2022. Who really knows? Because if we take a look at the Lions defense back in 2020, they were the worst defense in the NFL. 32nd when it came to scoring defense. They had lots of young guys. Lots of players got hurt as well. So they just weren't good at all. As well as they were 20th. Uh, when it came to scoring offense with Matthew Stafford. So the thing is that Marvin Jones and Kenny Galladay will both be free agents if the Lions don't decide to come in and sign them. And if they were to lose either of, either of those guys, I don't think this offense will take a step forward at all after losing Matthew Stafford. And who knows what's going to happen on the offensive side of the ball as well. So my prediction is that the Packers will sweep the Lions as well, beat them both times in the 2021 season. So now moving on to the Minnesota Vikings. So, of course, the Minnesota Vikings were 7-9 in the 2020 season, ranked 29th in scoring defense, pretty bad, but 11th in scoring offense. So their offense, honestly, was pretty good when you have Dalvin Cook. Um, you know, they paid him recently. He's a great running back, and he definitely, uh, he pretty much torched the Packers in the 2020 season. And the thing with Kirk Cousins, it's almost like he sort of goes unnoticed at times. You don't really realize that he's, I mean, he's pretty good. He's not amazing. I feel like he has stints of being great, stints of being not as great. But in 2020, he was the fifth-ranked quarterback when you look at passer rating. Better than Josh Allen, Russell Wilson, and Tom Brady. So I still do think this Vikings team has a pretty solid offense. Their defense definitely needs some improvement. Maybe they come out, sign a some free agents to bolster their defense. I do think the Vikings could be good. I think they'll be the best team in the NFC North besides the Green Bay Packers. So I think the Vikings will be better than the Lions and the Bears coming in to the 2021 season uh, but even though the Vikings I do think do have a pretty stellar offense I think the Packers will beat them at home that's sort of my prediction but I'm going to predict the Vikings to beat the Packers on the road just because when you take a look at all six um, you know division games I just think the Packers will probably end up losing one of them and I think it would be to the Minnesota Vikings but I do think the Packers will sweep the NFC North at home in 2021 so so far we've gone through six you know matchups two from each of our division rivals, and I think the Packers will go 5-1 and one in that stint. So now moving on to the rest of the home games for the Packers in the 2021 season. First off, we have the Cleveland Browns, who honestly have been much better than the Browns used to be at 11-5 and five in the 2021 season. Baker Mayfield's been improving. That rushing attack is pretty lethal with Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. I'm not sure if those guys are signed for 2021 or if 
and he will be a free agent. I don't think they will be. I think they'll both be back in 2021. So that'll definitely be a challenge for this Packers defense. And of course, you know, with Joe Barry coming in here, we don't really know what this Packers defense is going to look like in 2021. Hopefully they're much better, but the Browns will definitely be tough to stop when it comes to the running game. And they also have some pretty talented players on the defensive side of the ball. Um, but I do think the Packers will beat the Browns, considering it will be at home in Lambeau Field. Hopefully there'll be fans there in the 2021 season. I do think the Packers will beat the Browns, even though it could potentially be a good game. Then moving on to the Los Angeles Rams, 10-6 and six in the 2020 season. We beat the Rams in that playoff game, of course. Um, but coming to this game, I think the Rams will be much better in 2021 just because of the addition of Matthew Stafford. As Packers fans, we have seen Matthew Stafford play a lot. And honestly, I still think he is a very talented quarterback. Putting him on a Rams team, you know, where their offense wasn't great. Um, last season, the Packers really shut down that Rams offense. And the, the Los Angeles Rams' strength is definitely their defense with Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey. We know they have a stacked defense. And so to add Matthew Stafford to that team, I think it will make them much better coming into 2021. And it seems that the Rams are pushing, you know, to potentially be a Super Bowl contender, trading away draft picks, picking up a guy like Matthew Stafford. So I'm going to predict that this one, the Packers will lose this game. Obviously, I hope they don't. But just looking at the entire schedule, um, I'm sort of going to predict that the Packers will lose one home game. And so I think that could potentially be to the Los Angeles Rams. Obviously, the Packers could definitely beat them, but just trying to, you know, try to be a little unbiased here. So now moving on to the Steelers, we will be playing the Steelers at home. Steelers were 12-4 and last season. It's pretty crazy because it started off undefeated, but most people were like, this is probably one of the worst undefeated teams I've ever seen, and they didn't really end up making it too far, losing to that Browns team. And the Steelers' biggest strength is definitely their defense. They were fifth in scoring defense in the NFL. Of course, with TJ Watt, the Steelers also want to pick up JJ Watt. Hopefully, the Packers get JJ Watt, but... Who knows what will happen with that Steelers defense. They've been pretty talented the past few seasons. The area where they struggled a little more was on the offensive side of the ball. Um, they just weren't amazing when it came to the offense. They're all right, but you know their offense definitely held them back a little bit. So the question is for the Steelers, what's going to happen in 2021? It seems like Ben Roethlisberger should come back, but there are some question marks regarding that team. I'm pretty sure they signed Julian Haskins, didn't they? Um, I don't think he's going to make much of a difference. You never know, though, what could happen. But I'm going to predict the Packers to win this game at home against the Pittsburgh Steelers. So now moving on to, we have two more home games to cover. We have the Seattle Seahawks, who were 12-4 and in the 2020 season. They had the 7th best scoring offense in the NFL and the 16th best scoring defense. And what we've seen recently coming out of Seattle, it seems like Russell Wilson isn't super happy there, partly because he's been sacked pretty much more than every quarterback in the NFL the past few seasons. And he probably you know wants some more protection, wants to be able to sort of I guess be one of the voices when it comes to taking a look at this team. And who knows if he will stay with them in the 2021 season. Obviously, if Russell Wilson leaves and they bring in someone else, who knows who it'll be. So that could definitely change their entire team. But I do think this Packers team will beat them just because of the um, potency of this Packers offense. I don't think the Seattle Seahawks will be able to stop the Packers coming in to 2021. And then for the final home game, we'll be facing off against the Washington football team. who we were 7-9 last year. And their score, their defense is definitely stacked. Six best scoring defense in the NFL in the 2020 season, led by you know first round pick Chase Young, who was a beast in his rookie season. And the question with them is, you know, what's going to happen with the quarterback? Because they have Alex Smith who played there last year. They have uh, what's his name, Taylor Henneke. I think they signed him to a two year contract recently. I don't know if they see him as a future. Because I do think if the football team were to get a great quarterback, maybe if they somehow landed like Deshaun Watson. I don't even know if that's possible. But if they were to land a better quarterback, I do think this team would be much more dangerous. But with how their offense has been recently, until they can sort of bolster that offense, I don't see them really being a threat to the Packers. Um, their defense is definitely great, but their offense definitely has struggled a little bit. So I'm going to give the Packers this win. Uh, I just don't think that um, the football team will be able to put up too many points against the Packers in 2021 unless they, you know, go make some go make some moves, like I said. So that is all the home games for the Packers coming into the 2021 season. So, so far, all the picks I've made, I have the Packers at 9-2, and two, looking at the home games as well as, you know, the away division games. So now moving on to the final, what is it, five games? These are all going to be away games for the Packers. All right, so the first opponent we have away, well, they might not be the first, but the first that I have on my list right here is the Arizona Cardinals, who went 8-8 eight and eight last year. And honestly, the Cardinals are a pretty fun team to watch just because they have Kyler Murray now who is definitely shifty so fast. He's definitely fun to watch. They finished off as the 14th best scoring offense in the 2020 season, the 12th best scoring defense. 
So I sort of feel like they're a middle of the road team as their eight and eight record definitely shows. They have a great combo in Kyler Murray and, and DeAndre Hopkins. Still pretty crazy that they got DeAndre Hopkins for David Johnson, basically. Honestly, the Texans, who knows what's going on with the Texans? I have no clue. The Arizona Cardinals definitely are, I think, a team that'll continue to improve into the future, but I do think the Packers will win this game. I don't think the Arizona Cardinals will be able to stop Aaron Rodgers in 2021. So we'll give the Packers that win. Now moving on to a game that I think could be pretty challenging for the Packers. It should definitely be a good game, a fun game to watch in 2021. We will be facing off against the Baltimore Ravens in Baltimore. The Ravens were 11-5 and last year. And one of the things about this Baltimore Ravens team, they were the second best scoring defense in the NFL, so stacked on the defensive side of the ball. And then they were the ninth best scoring offense. So they're pretty stacked when it comes to both sides of the ball. And the crazy thing with the Ravens is they were first in rush yards per game with 192 rush yards per game, which honestly is just crazy. I think the next closest team was like 30 yards behind them. So coming into 2021, we don't exactly know what this Packers defense will look like. Maybe, you know, what will Joe Barry do? That's sort of the question coming into 2021. So I'm definitely sort of anticipating, like, I don't know what we're going to see from this Packers defense. Maybe Joe Barry changes things up a lot. Maybe he brings in some other guys who can bolster this defense. Who really knows? But it's definitely going to be tough to stop a Ravens team that can just run the ball at will. And unless the Packers can, I guess, improve more on that side of the ball, I think it could be a tough game for the Packers. And so just looking at the schedule, I do think this could be a loss for the Packers. Just, you know, an away game in Baltimore against a team that can just run the ball, can play great defense. I'm going to say the Ravens beat the Packers in this one. So now moving to the Cincinnati Bengals, who were 4-11-1 last year. Of course, they added Joe Burrow. He goes down with a torn, was it, it was a torn ACL, I'm pretty sure. And that was definitely unfortunate to see for him. But he should be coming back sometime pretty soon. I think in the 2021 season, he might miss the first few games. Um, but I just don't think this will be a team that will be much of a threat to the Packers. You never know. Obviously, um, you never know what could happen. But I think this is a team that maybe in the next few years could continue to improve. They have, what, the number five pick this year. So they'll definitely get a great player um, at that position. And maybe they come in and add some free agents for Joe Burrow coming into the 2021 season. But I think until the Bengals make some more moves to, um, I guess, reach that next level, I don't think they're going to be in a, a great team. Joe Burrow, I think, could be a great quarterback, but they definitely need to give him some more talent, maybe give him some more protection on the offensive line. So I'll give the Packers that one. So now we have two left. We have the Saints, who were 12-4 and four last year. They're going to look a lot different this year just because, of course, Drew Brees is retiring. And so the question is, who's going to be their quarterback? Is it Jameis Winston? Do they, feel, do they feel comfortable moving him in there? Because now he's had like one year behind uh, Drew Brees. So maybe he's improved. Maybe he's learned not to throw interceptions. Um, Drew Brees has probably taught him that. And that's a question coming for the Saints in, in uh, 2021. Will it be Taysom Hill? Will they find someone else? Who knows? They did have a great defense in 2020. Uh, they were the third best scoring defense in the NFL. The problem for the Saints, the Packers have a similar problem, but the Saints definitely have a much worse problem when it comes to the salary cap. I think they're anywhere from like, 60 to like 90 million dollars over the cap i'm not sure the number right now but they are like i think they're the number one team when it comes to being over the salary cap so they're going to have to do lots of things there they could end up losing lots of talented players and i definitely think the saints next year are going to be declining because it seemed like for a year the past couple of years they're sort of going all in with their window they had with drew Brees, which makes tons of sense you have one of the best quarterbacks of all time you want to you know get the players around him to hopefully win a super bowl Unfortunately for them, it didn't happen. So now they're sort of in a pretty tough position. So I don't think they're going to be a great team in 2021. So I'm going to give the Packers a win over the Saints. So the final away game to cover today for the Packers is against the San Francisco 49ers, who were 6-10 in 2020. Partly that was just because they had so many injuries. Jimmy Garoppolo goes down for a long time. Um, they were dealing with tons of, in tons of injuries. Uh, Kittle was dealing with injuries. Richard Sherman. Um, so they just weren't a great team in the 2020 season. I do think coming into 2021, they'll definitely be better than last year. I've seen some rumors that potentially they want to come in and pick up a quarterback. I don't know if that's just like speculation because uh, I've seen things like Deshaun Watson, other quarterbacks who could potentially come into San Francisco. Who really knows? Maybe the San Francisco 49ers see Jimmy Garoppolo as their guy. Honestly, I don't know. I do think they will be better in the 2021 season, um, but I'm just not sure they will be able to beat this Packers team. So I'll give the Packers this victory in 2021. So that basically gives the Packers a 13-13 and record. Once again, that's my prediction for the 2021 season. But I would definitely be curious to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, I'd love if you would hit the like button down below. It really just helps push the video out to more people. So that's going to be all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I'll see you guys on the next one.